am back in the kitchen with Chef George Duran. He has just agreed to live with me permanently so that I never have to make anything myself. Thank you for that, George. Sure. You're doing the dishes, though, right? Every time. No okay, problem. Good, no good. problem cleaning. Usually s'mores are around a campfire in the summertime, but George has got three different ways to make them right now. This may be my favorite thing, so what? please please give us the information. Okay, s'mores, classic. Everyone knows this. It's marshmallows, chocolate, and graham cracker. And what I've invented here is a s'mores chocolate chip cookie. Fine. Very simple. <laughs> Done. Sold. Right? And as you can see, the mar mini marshmallows, the chocolate is in there, but the graham crackers are crushed and put inside the batter. Wow. For the cookie. Oh, so you didn't just take chocolate chip cookies and melt the stuff on top. You actually made the whole thing. I have a culinary degree, man. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this. All right, so can I taste it? Yeah, go ahead. Give wow. that a taste. It's a very, very decadent, wow. special treat. All right, so we're going to put George Duran's recipes on the nature.com. I'll let you know in just a second whether or not it's worth making. I put a little cinnamon in there, too, for the graham cracker taste. Okay, seriously. Good stuff. Right? Yeah, that's it. Good. You're gonna yeah. look, you're gonna look I'm like cleaning me. out half my closet. Dude, there's room for you. <laughs> All right. What? This is amazing. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. What Go are we for making it. Go next? For it. There's a lot more but, because what happened one time was uh, I went camping. I ended up leaving all the s'mores ingredients in one bowl mm -hmm. next to the fire. They all melted with each other, and I ended up ma making this dish over here, which is called s'mores nachos or smachos. Smachos. Huh? That is a twist. And what you do pretty much is lay it all into the oven into mm -hmm. the little uh, cast iron griddle or whatever you have mm -hmm. just put it all together with the mini marshmallows and you have your friends dig in with their fingers just kind of dig in there and kind of so just it's enjoy like a communal just like that. smacho yeah pretty much it's a oh, very fun thing what? everybody this looks so good okay hang on whoops all right yeah. Oh, man. yeah and the best part you lick your fingers afterwards it's good stuff yeah okay delicious <laughs> And then what I've done, actually, is I've taken it a whole new level of twisting, and I have invented an inside-out s'mores. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I inside take... Inside-out. Inside-out. Okay. So pretty much you have the graham cracker, chocolate, and then the marshmallow on the outside. Okay. A little bizarre. I'm having an existential quandary right now, because I have a cookie in one hand. <laughs> I want to dip my hand back into these smachos, and now you're talking about the upside-down one. What should I do? Nate, put the cookie down. You're okay. going to help me roast some marshmallows. <laughs> done. Okay, the cookies so down. We're gonna start with these jumbo marshmallows, and you can find these almost anywhere. They're okay. jumbo large size, they're very important. And we're gonna start roasting them on this stovetop over here. And we okay. have this little fun toy over here. Okay. Right over here. It's called a real roaster by Hogwild Toys, cool. right over here. You kind of put it in there. Right. And then wait a minute, you extend it so you're far away from the there you go. Oh, the flame. Okay. And so like a reel, like a fishing reel, you kind of put it over the flame. What? And you wanna go in there. <laughs> This is fantastic. And you carefully roast this guy, just okay. like that. Now remember- Mine's you, not roasting, I don't think. You gotta get a little closer. You wanna be about an inch or two from the fire itself. Okay. Not too high, because otherwise, you'll burn it. But it starts roasting little by little, and you get a little brown on the outside. See how mine is getting lighter yeah. brown? Yeah. Yours is Oh yeah, mine, no, mine oh, is. Wait, go. look, see, there's a little edge. Oh, mine's starting to bubble. Fire. Okay. okay. No. You just blow it out, that's Hold fine. Hold on. It's very Wow, it's normal. like dancing with the stars. There we go, hey. <laughs> okay. okay. So. And it's perfectly fine if it, if it chars a little bit. Okay. Some people like I actually char. like the charred part. Some people like it. You shouldn't really do that. It's not the best, but it's okay. You like it a little crunchy. Well, are you going to die, or is it fine? Not at all. It's okay. perfectly fine. All right. So here it is. So what's happening here is the outside part is nice and toasty and mm -hmm. melted, and that's what you want. You're going to kind of pull the exoskeleton, so to speak, out of it very gently, just like that. Okay. Okay? Just hold it like that. I'm going to put this down for a second. Okay, mine's not really working, that's but yours fine, that's did. Fine. That's great. So see the inside? Culinary in school in France, everyone. That's what you learn. Ordering Thai food every night by the phone. <laughs> that's the difference between you and I. So you see the inside over here? I do. Melted, crunchy on the outside. It's still warm. Okay. You're going to go ahead and take the graham cracker, put it between two slices of chocolate in there. Right. And you're just oh, gonna no kind of, way. Oh, yeah, you it's just like a shove. pocket. Yeah, it's a pocket. What? Exactly. You kind of just shove it this in there. Is, wait, this is... Just a... like that. And that residual heat melts the chocolate. Come on. You can hold it with your hand. Okay. And kind of dig into it. Look at that final I, piece wait, over there. Wait, so look at... So, and, then, and then you flatten out the marshmallow. Do you see that, yeah. everybody? So it's easy to pick up. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, well, let me see if this one's good. Okay, go ahead. Right. Give it a taste. <laughs> Seriously. Not bad. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. That's, Thank you. It's a three-year culinary studies in France. Is just it? to get to That's this. That's what, right. Yeah. The pastry chefs are freaking out right now. George, Thank wonderful you. job. Thank you very wonderful much. Wonderful job.
All the ingredients for George's recipes are on the nature.com. When we come back, how you can take an already great line of furniture from Ikea and transform it into something unique, personalized, and amazing. We'll be right back, everybody.